Arrow 18 LLC, a small business located near St. Louis, Missouri, is pleased to present a new technology that will dramatically improve fuel efficiency for trucks and automobiles. Our technology, called Adaptive Fairing with Tunneling, or AF plus T, is much more efficient and effective than the current state-of-the-art Active Grill Shutters, or AGS. The AF plus T concept and its related hardware were awarded patents in the U.S. in August 2014 and April 2015. We will begin this presentation by showing the drawbacks of active grill shutters and then introduce our technology, the adaptive fairing with tunneling. AGS is an optional accessory added to automobiles to improve aerodynamic efficiency. On this slide, you can see an AGS applied to the lower air dam region of the 2011 Chevy Cruze. It provides a set of horizontal slats that choke off the air inlet on the lower portion of the grill below the bumper line. When fully deployed, AGS uses fin-like louvers turning about on a horizontal axis, limiting airflow into the engine compartment and directing it around the vehicle to reduce aerodynamic drag. When the AGS louvers are deployed vertically into the windstream, they choke off the flow through the lower radiator. This creates higher pressure on the louvers compared to just the radiator forces, resulting in only a small gain of efficiency. The pressure intensity image on the left shows the AGS bumper and grill arrangement blocking the flow of air around the radiator compartment. When the AGS louvers are closed off, they create a high back pressure on the louvers as shown in the image on the right, as well as the bumper. This back pressure produces nearly 30 pounds of drag at 70 miles per hour, approximately one-third of the total drag on the vehicle. This drag force accounts for one-quarter of all fuel consumed at 70 miles per hour. As a result of the small grill opening on the upper radiator, the crews waste engine power by recirculating air or forming aerodynamic vortices behind the grill on the upper radiator entrance area. As designed, vehicles using the AGS suffer from several problems. The bumper and grill continue to block the airflow. The grill is used to isolate the engine compartment entrance, allowing air to expand and flow internally. This wastes power, as the engine must overcome this aerodynamic drag. While the AGS concept is mature, it reduces drag only 2 to 6 percent. The shutters must be located next to the radiator for thawing in the winter and ice or snowstorms. The result of all these problems is that the AGS is estimated to save the cruise only 3 to 4 percent of its fuel consumption at 70 miles per hour. Other vehicles have full face radiators shuttered off. This blockage causes the louvers or shutters to generate back pressure over the entire radiator area when they are closed. The resultant back pressure on the radiator and louvers is an inherent error in the AGS design. The flaws in the AGS design can greatly impact automakers and owners. Federal Corporate Average Fuel Economy, or CAFE, standards are forcing large improvements in aerodynamics and engine technologies. Both types of improvements are required to meet the new standards. Additionally, European standards for increasing pedestrian safety in accidents are making it even more difficult to design vehicle front ends aerodynamically. As we'll describe shortly, AF plus T can meet and exceed the European pedestrian regulations by reducing the force on the radiator region by nearly 50%. The AF plus T design was developed to overcome the flaws associated with AGS. Aero 18's internal calculations show that our design forms an aerodynamic shape that is two to five times better at reducing aerodynamic drag than AGS. The design has fewer moving parts and can be designed to be reliable, debris-proof, and capable of operating in all weather conditions. This is a cost-effective strategy that will meet or exceed the European pedestrian regulations today. As currently envisioned, the AF Plus T would use one or multiple flexible panels driven out from under the hood profile to restrict airflow. 
These panels would curve down tracks in the grill side areas to form an aerodynamic shape in front of the engine compartment. The air dam remains open for winter operation and transmission oil and turbo air cooling at highway speeds. The flexible panel is driven by a simple rack and pinion style step motor arrangement at the top of the radiator that transverses the track system on the left and right. The flexible panel isolates percentages of the radiator depending on engine cooling needs and thus generates no drag in the oncoming wind. In effect, AF plus T makes the radiator appear smaller and smaller the further down the track system the flexible panel travels. In this side cutaway view, you can see that the tunnel panels limit the exposure progressively as the flexible panel is driven down the track system. This prevents that portion of the radiator from creating aerodynamic drag and thus shrinks the size of the radiator exposed for cooling. The tracks of the system may be heated electrically in winter if jamming occurs and the bull nose of the flexible panel can be heated to free the system of ice and snow in winter operation. AF plus T incorporates other useful design features. The mechanism can be designed by pulling or pushing out the flexible panel. It uses a step motor driven system against spring retraction forces for fail safe design. It places side tracks along existing grill support structure. Because the mechanism is internal or external to the grill, it allows automakers to maintain their distinctive grill style and emblems on the vehicle front end. It defines a path of air directly to the percent of radiator that needs cooling using tunnel panels. It has the track sealed away from foreign debris. AF plus T can help vehicles meet European pedestrian regulations as well. To prevent or reduce pedestrian injuries during low speed collisions, we can add the option of a two stage bumper with tunnel panels that slide backward as they collapse. Using this design, the panels in first stage bumper would slide backward upon impact using a scissors action. The front end of the vehicle would include a first stage bumper for pedestrian collisions as well as a structural bumper deeper inside the front end for vehicle collisions. Overall, we see the primary advantage of the AF plus D design with its ability to reduce internal drag because the flexible panel experiences lower forces than the louvers on the AGS system. Our design targets an exact percentage of the radiator to be exposed to the incoming wind. This arrangement produces a tunable design for ensuring the right amount of cooling for the engine. The Ford Focus with AGS has a 27 by 15 inch radiator. At 70 miles per hour, the resistance on the bumper and radiator is estimated to be 0 0.078 PSI, resulting in a back pressure net of 32 pounds of drag. The Ford Focus has a drag coefficient of 0 0.28 with a cross-section of 72 by 57 inches, yielding near 92 foot-pounds of total drag at 70 miles per hour. Our internal estimates show that AF plus T may reduce the drag on the radiator and bumper by up to 45 percent during winter operation and thus lower the vehicle's drag coefficient to 0 0.236. To sum up, Aero 18's adaptive fairing with tunneling has the potential to revolutionize radiator cooling and fuel efficiency without any major technological developments. AF plus T's advantages include an estimated 7 to 20 percent boost in highway miles per gallon, a design that assists vehicles in meeting future CAFE standards, patented technology that is easily marketable and adaptable by multiple original equipment manufacturers, durability in all weather conditions, including the cold and snow, a unique aerodynamic design, and a design that exceeds European pedestrian accident design standards. Adaptive fairing with tunneling is a tool made to solve tomorrow's problems today.